Schleicher, I take that back, Schweitzer, TG3A glider, built for the Army Air Corps as to be used as a training glider in World War II. It's a two-seater, you get normally about eight hours of flight in this, and then you move on to the larger gliders. And as far as we know, this may be one of the last ones airworthy in the world. And what's your name, and where do you live? My name is Ron Tuttle, <laughs> fly at Eagleville Airport, I'm from College Grove, Tennessee. Cool. Thanks. Yep, we're ready up front. Right. Okay. All right, Chris, we're ready. Take us to maybe three. How's that? That'll work. Here we go. All right. Here we go. You've never been in this? I, Ryan, I did a long time ago I when I first started flying, yeah. It was a thrill. especially if we get up a little bit higher. So we're at, uh, what, 3,000 feet? We're right around 3,000. 3, Doing about 55 miles an hour. 55 knots. And we're in 400 feet per minute sink right now, looking for a little bit of lift. Should be someone to this queue somewhere. The, north, the wind's coming out of the northeast. Is it? Yep. A lot smoother when you're not on top. My dad will get a kick out of seeing this also. Really? He'll get, yeah, he'll be thrilled. Your dad fly? He's always dreamed of flying, never uh, did though. So we're averaging about 60 knots. Best thermaling speeds, 55 or so? Yeah, about that right in here. 55, yep, 55 so. 60. Or as slow as you can get it before it starts to vibrate on you. Right. Yes, 
Last Sunday would have been the day to film. Sunday was an awesome day. It was a stunning day. Yep. I averaged uh, 37 and a half knots with my little cell plane. I flew 119 miles wow. in three hours. Yeah, it was a good flight. Michael and I had high aspirations today of doing some serious cross-country work. And quickly dissipated once we got out. <laughs> Too fast or too slow. Great, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. That was super.